Air power actually is coming out in just a couple months? How many times have I said that over the last three years? I'm so sick of this. AirPods 2 is actually coming out along the same time. iPad mini 5 actually isn't going to be very different at all. All of these things we're going to talk about in today's video. A bunch of leaks came forward this morning that I'm very excited to talk about. But at the same time, before we get into any of them, you cannot forget the salt. Picks on them and they break the, break the salt up. The incalculable amount of salt you have to take with these leaks and these rumors. Hundreds, thousands, millions, billions of grains of salt you have to also stuff down your gullet when listening to everything I'm about to say because the salt down here salt is a way of life is at an insane level we cannot control the amount of salt you have to understand comes with all these rumors and reports i'm basically trying to say none of this might happen but once again we're here to speculate and today i'm here to tell you about some of the latest leaks we've got revolving all of these new products that could be coming out in a very short amount of time let's begin <laughs> So if a lot of the stuff we talk about in today's video ends up being real, I think Apple might genuinely have a March or an April event. The last couple years has been kind of spotty. You know, in 2017, we just got a website refresh. There was a brand new product that came out and there was a new iPhone color, but there was no event, there was no live stream, there was no nothing. In 2018, we kind of had a March event. It was mainly based around education. And while they did record the event, they didn't live stream it. And it was not really meant to be publicly that available. Apple didn't want that much attention drawn to it because at the end of the day it wasn't that big of an upgrade for anything it was kind of small upgrades here and there we got the new 2018 ipad but nothing too major but if all of the things that are talked about in this report end up happening i think they might genuinely have enough stuff to fill an entire keynote definitely won't be as big a keynote as wwdc or the iphone keynote later this year but still i think there's plenty of things they could talk about that could easily fill the hour especially knowing how apple fluffs stuff up they make it take forever to announce very simple things and they're not really straight into the point so so I could easily see Apple having a March or April keynote this year. So the first bit of not so exciting news is that the iPad mini 5, which there's been a lot of analysts and a lot of rumors saying that it is happening, is not going to look anything really differently from the iPad mini 4. This is mainly going to be a spec bump, and that confirms a lot of our suspicions that we've been hypothesizing for a long time. You know, would the iPad mini have USB-C? Would it look like the new iPad Pros? Would they have Face ID? This kind of solidifies all that and says, no, there will be a new iPad mini, but it'll probably just have an A10 or an A11 chip. It'll still have light lightning, still have Touch ID, same old classic iPad design, nothing fancy here other than it's meant to be under $300 or at least around $300 just to get iPads into the hands of more people. And given the iPad mini 4 has an A8 chip and it's rumored that iOS 13 is either going to cut off anything below the A9 chip or potentially even higher, hopefully that's not true, I think it would make sense that Apple refreshes the iPad mini right now because once the iPad mini 5 is available and people start buying it, those new iPad minis will be able to get iOS 13, whereas the iPad Mini 4 will not, so Apple's not completely ditching the smaller tablet game. They're still going to have a player in it so that it can partake in all of the new iOS features we're going to be seeing later this year. So iPad Mini 5, no design change. Maybe the new gold color will be applied with it, but yeah, looks-wise, it's probably going to be the same as the current iPad Mini 4. But the far more interesting stuff I want to talk about today comes from my smart price, who said they have a trusted source that's giving them a lot of information about this spring refresh, whether it's a website refresh or whether it's a keynote we still don't know but they basically are confirming that airpods 2 is happening and physically they're not going to look too much different from the first generation airpods but it sounds like apple could be listening to customers they might finally be doing what i've been asking for for years airpods 2 will come in multiple colors or maybe not colors i should say finishes it will be coming in white of course alongside black which isn't a lot of color options it would be kind of cool if they made a ton of color options to kind of match every single 10r but i'm okay with that because apple usually doesn't provide different headphones colors when they design a new version of earpods and with airpods they haven't ever since airpods were released back in 2016 so i'm just happy that we're getting a extra color and they also go into detail about how the color and the finish of the airpods is going to be a little bit different than before it's supposed to be a bit more grippy and they described it as pixel-esque which i really wish you wouldn't bring up the pixel when we're talking about next gen airpods because the finish on the back of a pixel that's made of glass i don't think the airpods are going to be made of glass but i think a better comparison to be made is the next generation 
generation AirPods finish is going to be more similar to the Apple Pencil 2. It's more of a matte finish. It's not as glossy, and that means that it'll probably be able to hold on inside the ear a lot better. It won't be as slippery as before, and you don't have to worry about pulling the AirPods out of the charge case and having to fumble around with them. So that's the good news is that design-wise, they'll look pretty similar, but that matte finish will give it kind of a new signature look. And of course, AirPods that come in a black or space gray, whatever they decide to call it, finish, which I think will look awesome. And I'm very interested to see in what color and what style they go in. They also went into detail about how there's going to be better bass in the new generation AirPods, but I know a lot of people think that the bass can be overdone in headphones, but the good news for that is if you buy AirPods, go into iOS, make sure to lower the bass a little bit in the equalizer setting. So having too much bass is a fixable problem, but hearing that they want to improve the sound quality of the AirPods a little bit is great to hear, but you won't be seeing any improvements in regards to battery life. It's basically going to be same battery life as before. The report also makes no mention of Bluetooth 5.0 or whether or not AirPods are getting a W2 or a W3 chip. So I would anticipate that pairing method wise, they're still going to be the W1 chip. They're probably still going to be Bluetooth 4 because Apple, the, Apple can't fit Bluetooth 5 or the newer W chips into devices as small as AirPods. They are incredibly tiny. And also, even when Bluetooth 5 became a standard, it wasn't implemented into the Apple Watch until a year later with the Series 4. So I imagine that's probably the problem with implementing Bluetooth 5 into AirPods. It's just not enough battery to sustain it and too small a device they can't handle the newer generation chips. The not so great news about AirPods 2 is that they're rumored to cost around $200, which would be around a $40 price increase on AirPods, which already are kind of expensive for a lot of people. You guys have all seen the memes. Now, luckily, if matte black AirPods end up coming out, you'll be able to rebirth all these memes and be like, oh, you have those white, glossy, first-generation AirPods? Oh, you peasants. I have the matte black AirPods, the real new finish, because I can afford the extra $40. I, I can't wait to see all the memes for that. That's gonna be beautiful. But to those people who don't wanna spend the $200 but still want to get the option of wireless charging, which also was meant mentioned with the second generation AirPods. He mentions that Apple will allow you to buy an optional wireless charging case that will be compatible with the first generation AirPods. So if you already have AirPods, but you want the wireless charging, you can buy just the charging case all by itself. Doesn't exactly say how much they're going to cost, but I would imagine probably less than $100 and definitely a lot cheaper than just buying a whole new pair of AirPods. But given all the new features, the new finishes, the new colors, the improved base, I imagine a lot of you out there probably would just like to buy new AirPods anyway. If these end up coming out and have a lot of new features. For one, I could imagine they'll definitely have that Hello Siri support because we saw that leaked in iOS code. And the fact that that is built into the iOS code means that the release of AirPods 2 is somewhat reasonably soon. And with that wireless charging option coming soon, you guessed it, that also means Air Power is also mentioned in this leak and is supposedly coming out in just a couple months. And once again, don't forget about the salt here. The ceiling's salt, the floor's salt, the walls are salt. To an extent, the air is salt. I still have my doubts about Air Power ever being available but the only bit of information in this leak that makes it kind of seem more realistic to me is they're saying that air power is going to be slightly thicker than originally advertised. So not sure if Apple's going to get in big trouble for this, but I'm sure everyone's going to get mad at them and probably Apple will get sued again. But in order to cool down the air power charge mat and make it not overheat, as we were hearing about so many of the problems going on inside of air power development, they had to make the device a little bit thicker so that it wouldn't get so hot. In this article, they say that this is due to an internal 877 coil configuration and will be released alongside the AirPods as well in the spring. If this article ends up being true, he's saying that AirPower is going to start around $150, which is expensive, no doubt, but also not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Whenever people ask me how much I think AirPower is going to be, I usually went to the $250, $300 price range because if you buy chargers from Apple, they are not cheap and usually everything feels very, very expensive in the accessory market. And AirPower, by all means, is an accessory it is a charger, so I figured it would be absurdly overpriced. But if they end up being $150, I think that's fairly reasonable. I still get that it's high end, but for all of the options that you're going to have with air power, I suppose it could be justified for a lot of people out there. He also mentions that iOS 13 is going to bring a lot of custom features to air power that you won't be able to get on other wireless chargers out there. And I assume he could be simply referring to those charge animations we saw way back in 2017 when air power was first technically announced. But personally, I still think air power is a bad idea. I still think it sucks that certain watch bands won't work with air power. It's not vertical, so you have to let everything lay flat. But I don't care about all my complaints about it. I just want air power to come out so that the meme will die. I'm so sick of the tweets, the comments, the people constantly complaining, where is air power? Where is air power? And it's just, I've heard it nonstop for the past two years, and I'm so ready to be done with it that I just want air power to come out. I, I just want it to be released.
released so that we can be done with it. It can be that one product that took forever to come out, but now finally it's out. So I'm hoping these leaks end up being real. And of course, alongside the iPad mini five, the new generation AirPods that come in multiple colors, air power being launched. We'll also be getting that 10 inch iPad with slightly thinner bezels, but still under the $400 price range, likely to ship with an A11 chip if things go the way they have in the past. And there's even a couple analysts saying that there would be a new color for the iPhone 10R, potentially one coming in green, but I'm not excited for a green 10R. I'm for the purple one because Thanos phone, and I'd love to see that color combination. I think it would look good. So anyway, of all the stuff we're mentioning about Apple's potential next keynote, what are you most excited for? Let me know all that good stuff down in the comments below. And also feel free if you're looking for more content and you want to enjoy more Talos of Tech Talk to subscribe to our podcast down in the description because we talk a lot there. Each of those podcasts is about an hour and we usually make one once a week. So please feel free to check it out. This is your Apple Sheep here. I'll see you in the next one.